Jacobian matrix. What is Jacobian matrix? The matrix formed from the derivatives of load flow equations is called Jacobian matrix. The elements of this Jacobian matrix will change in every iteration of the load flow solution and in each iteration the elements of the Jacobian matrix are obtained by partially differentiating the load flow equation with respect to unknown variables and then evaluating the first derivative using the solution we obtained from the previous iteration. As we know in the load flow solution there are four variables magnitude of voltage and the phase angle del, real power and reactive power. Based on the known quantities we need to obtain the load flow equation with respect to the unknown variables. This Jacobian matrix is a part of Newton Raphson method load flow analysis and this matrix is formed to relate correction vector and the mismatch vector. Now let us see the complete representation of the Jacobian matrix. The complete Jacobian matrix can be represented like this. So here the values varies from del P2 to del Pn. Similarly, del Q2 to del Qn. Since the first bus is a slack bus, we need to consider from the second bus to nth bus. And the first term in the Jacobian matrix is dou P2 by dou del 2 up to dou Pn by dou del 2. In this side, dou P2 by dou del n. Okay, so this forms a separate matrix and the second term dou P2 by dou V2 similarly here dou Q2 by dou del 2 similarly here dou Q2 by dou V2 so this four are separate matrix you need to find with the help of the uh, equations and we need to substitute over here and this side this will be this Jacobian matrix will be multiplied with this del del 2 up to del n and del V2 up to del Vn and this component dou P2 by dou del 2 and dou P2 by uh, dou V2 and dou Q2 by dou del 2, dou Q2 by dou V2. This can be solved using the following equations. We will discuss that equations now. And this is how you need to represent the Jacobian matrix in a simplified form. So diagonal elements and off diagonal elements of J1 matrix. So J1 is the first term matrix. So this J1 matrix will be having dou PP by dou del that will be equal to summation Q equal to 1 to n and the q is not equal to p vp vq yp q magnitude and the sign of this value similarly dou pp by dou del q will be having minus vp vq yp q into sign of the angles and the q is not equal to p similarly the second term j2 for j2 you will be having this two formulas dou pp by dou vp and dou pp by dou vq and the third term J3 dou QP by dou del P and dou QP by dou del Q. So these two formulas and the fourth term J4 for J4 dou QP by dou VP and dou QP by dou VQ. So these are the two formulas. Okay, So you need to remember all these uh, six formulas in order to form the Jacobian matrix.